Good afternoon, class. My name is Joshua Barrow. This is my interactive video. Uh, I'm presenting uh, uh, connect, the use of cognitive therapies, uh, interpersonal therapies, and uh, family therapy on the patient. The subject is my friend. His name is uh, Michael. Uh, this uh, 35 years old uh, African American male is married with two daughters. He's been expressing difficulties at work. He has been written up for inappropriate behavior. He's been expressing this depressive symptoms, tearful, depressed mood, often for inappropriate de depressed mood most of the day, uh, mostly damage interest, diminish in interest or pleasure, fatigue, feeling of worthlessness and excessive guilt, decreased ability. To think and concentrate, and was having difficulties in his relationship with the wife, mother, and the daughter. Uh, the problem was precipitated by the death of his father. Uh, also, he's been having a lot of other issues. Uh, the loss of his uh, father triggered his schemata and underlying belief related to his uh, childhood. Uh, he began to see everything in his life through a negative lens and was totally out uh, discounting positive uh, thinking. The, he has increase in irritabilities and impatience as well as passive aggressive behavior. His core belief related, related to himself that I'm not a good person, I'm not a good father, uh, I'm not a good husband, uh, nobody hear me. He views the world is that I think people are self-centered, I think people are rude, and they do not think about others. Uh, his, his view of the future is more negative than positive. He stated that he does not know about the future. What are, that, what are the external triggers? Those are such as TV, magazine, newspaper, with focus on illness that led to somatic catastrophizing. He's, he's been struggling with lack of motivation, behavioral changes, and physical symptoms, eating less, having difficulty eating, and having difficulty sleeping. Uh, he's been experiencing a lot of expectation of failure, low self efficacy, and passive inability to cope. He views himself as incompetent and indecisive and has difficulty completing daily tasks. Isolation, withdrawal were prevalent in his life. He's been experiencing low energies and fatigue. All this indicates a negative view of himself, the world, and the future, and it's a typical manifestation of uh, depression. So I'm going to be using cognitive therapies, I'm going to be using inter interpersonal therapies, and I'm going to be using family therapy. He has a very difficult childhood. The father was a very angry person, unpredictable, who continued to lash out at him. Also, the mother was the kind of a controlling mom who wanted the, the children to be, to, be, to, be, to be raised up in a very good way. So he's been having distrustful of others, convey that this distrust to, has affected his relationship with the children and also his relationship with his, uh, with, 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 with his friend. So his employer is working and he's been having a lot of difficulty in his job. So the recent history, why he came for therapy, is because he's been having difficulty in normal functioning. He's been very, very sad all the day, difficult sleeping and eating as well as psychomotor agitation, irritability, fatigue, difficulties concentrating and indecisive with evidence. But the prominent difficulty involved feeling of worthlessness. Thank you. This system has increased due to stress on the job and has been ongoing for approximately six weeks. So we have to assess this patient accurately and we use an effective uh, and effectively. So we have to do a comprehensive assessment. I have to do a comprehensive assessment on this uh, patient because he has three major aspects, which is hopelessness, feeling about the future, loss of motivation, and expectation. So the problem that this patient is been experiencing is that he's depressed, feeling sad, empty, guilt regarding that of the father, 
difficult with appetite and sleep, uh, low energy, decreased concentration focus. Also, the other problem list is anxiety, stress at work, resulting to impatience and anger, marital conflict, the wife is tired of him complaining, uh, also social isolation, uh, is having, having difficulty with, with finance, biting just to help him feel better and in reaction he become angry with the husband, with the, with the wife. So he's experiencing lack of assertiveness, decreased self-esteem. So uh, what would be our treatment plan? You know, because it's have, it's, the treatment plan is there is to reduce the depressive symptoms through cognitive behavioral therapy, exploit emotional trigger of depressions, uh, control feeling of guilt, confront cognitive belief systems, Explore expression of fear, challenge misperceptions, mis identify depressive connections, identify and support cognitive strength, increase exercise, focus on healthy eating, learn and practice relaxation techniques, teach method of self praise, follow the maturized treatment, complete self report for every session, and be compliant with the own work. We have the long term goal and the short term goal. Love time goal is to develop the ability to recognize and cope with the feeling of depression, alleviate depressive mood, and return to previous level of effective functioning. Develop realistic cognitive patterns and believe about self and the world that lead to alleviation of depressive symptoms. The short term goal is verbally identify, if possible, the source of depressive mood. Discuss over our reliance on significant others. Or support directions and meaning of life. Identify cognitive self-talk that is engaged in support of depression. Replace negative and self-defeating self-talk with verbalization of realistic and positive cognitive message. Verbalize awful and positive statement regarding the future. Make positive statement regarding self and ability to cope with the stressors of life. Also, the long, also the short term goal is to engage in physical and recreational activities that reflect increased energy and interest. Also, participate in social con social contact and initiate communications of need and desire. Okay, my friend Michael is here today for another session. So, uh, Michael, uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, for coming for the time for the therapy. I want to continue on where we stopped last time. So what's going on with you at work, Michael? I was treating up for harassment at work. So what do you mean? Can you explain? My negative behavior and tick increase is getting into the anniversary of my father's death. I was acting at What negative behavior in particular? I question everything my manager does. I challenge her. I have a problem with people. So what behavior I, did you exhibit? I was more irritable and intolerant of others. I was fully criticized and that got me hungry. Have you experienced these criticisms at all the times? Yeah, yeah. I have always been criticized by my parents. It made me feel like a child. I always had to do everything right. I always complied. I was a good boy, but I still got criticized. Sound like you think I must do everything right or I'm not good. Yeah, yeah. But I do everything right. I still get criticized, just like at home. Sound like work is exemplifying old criticisms from home. So as you can see, the subject continue to relay the past experience of criticisms to work problem. Okay, Michael, can you continue? At work, I work on egg chairs, waiting to be criticized, as I did as a child. My boss is very volatile, as my father was. I cope with this by going to the bathroom, frequently to calm down rather than hurting out. So it seems as if you are repeating some of the same behavior from time you were a child. The anticipation of a problem, the concern about the unpredictable of your boss, leading to walking on the egg chair and the isolation going to the bathroom frequently. Yes, yeah, it's difficult and it makes me angry. 
So have you done about moving to another department? Yes, yes. But when I asked, it was denied. They told me that no other manager want to work with me. How come? Because I questioned things. I was never allowed to do. I was never allowed to question things as a child. And when I'm born, I think too much, and 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 they get frustrated and sad. So how does this interfere with your work? I'll be questioning every little thing and I make suggestions and they never use my idea. They are good and I question that too. Then I get irritable and argue. Is this helping you? No, no. They just watch me more and look for stuff. But it makes my thing of my childhood. In what way? As a child, I couldn't express myself. I suppressed the me of me. I was different, quiet, didn't go outside. I was select myself. My mother was very controlling. She chose our friends. She didn't trust anybody. She was a victim of incest. Incest means with the next generation too. She always said, my bad day was worse than yours. Just will, will ever be. This made me feel unimportant and dismissed. But is this, is this happening now or is it happening at work? It feels that way. They treat me the way my mother always did and I get frustrated and angry. So, I go back at, at them. I couldn't do, do that when I was a child. No, but you are no longer a child. Yeah, yeah. but I was a cracky evil child. I said to myself, I didn't want to be bothered. I always, I was always on guard. So, now your belief system is I can't trust anybody. Yes, and I still feel that way. I even feel uncomfortable when home with everybody. I don't know how to behave. So a lot of this old belief and pattern continue even though you are no longer in charge. Yes, but I follow the rules all the time because I didn't want to be body. I didn't. I didn't want to be to be body. So do you think you are not acting out at work? Yes, yes, but it's upsetting and makes me nervous. So I then have to isolate to calm down. Do you think there's another way of you handling the work situation? I don't know. I want to. Except okay, so uh, you see, as you see, he continued to have distrust and he continued to blame Learn a lot of things on others and they continue to hack up. So, I we had a different session. I, I gave him a homework setting, a homework self report to do. So, he came back again for a different session today. No, Michael, okay, welcome for the session two. You see, he has been very, very compliant and he's been much motivated to reduce, uh, to reduce his depression and to change his behavior. This is now this is the second session is coming because of this attitude he's complying with the old work i gave him he's focusing on reading some of the manuals and completing the exercise deserving desire to learn and understood his depression uh he has good question that we then discuss using the the manual as a guide for the session i gave him okay so can you talk to me today I wanted to know what cognitive behavioral therapy was. Oh, cognitive behavioral therapy, as you all know, is a therapy in which you look at your thoughts to see how they are affecting your emotion and behavior. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy helps you to examine how you look at the world and how you respond to it. Uh, to you, to, 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 to yourself, to your environment, and your future. Well, that's what I thought. I look it up in the dictionary and it said knowledge, and that's what it is, right? Uh, because it helps you to understand your negative thoughts and low mood. It is a problem focused approach. You look at the problems and figure out the best way to handle it. Knowledge then will be a good answer because you are learning and therefore gaining knowledge. So, and it's, oh, it's also going to help you to try the way you think because your thinking really drive you, 
drive your emotion. It focus. It help you to focus on your own work, as you know in in between the session. So, schema. I looked that up and I got that plan or scheme. Schemas are really things that underline your main belief system. Remember, we talked about your belief system before. Those thoughts that do not automatically occur to, to you. Based on your belief system, it is sort of based on abstract ideas. Again, going back to the self, world, and future. Okay. The schema we talked about before is your trust schema. You don't trust because of the belief system that your mother reinforced on you. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's a belief system. Yeah, yes, of course you should know that. Schema is going to influence the content of your belief and schema kind of help you to define yourself. You have a belief system and then you behave and think certain way based on the way you think. And then you act a certain way and the schema influences all. Then you go against it. Then you have to figure other ways to handle it. And deal with it. Any other questions seem like you really did your own work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I had a dictionary, but some of some of the questions I put little footnotes. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Do you want to review them with me? Yes, like Sue said, but I never really wanted to kill myself, but I wish myself out of the picture like maybe go away like nobody will miss me like passive suicide thoughts that's how we refer to those where you actually wouldn't act on it you think life may be a whole lot easier if you were in here if i could disappear or if i was in an accident something happened to me people you when, know, wouldn't be affected, you know. When did you have those thoughts? Maybe like after an argument, or, or if I felt bad, or if I was incorrect in dealing with my children, you know, or my wife. So, then you get really upset with yourself and blame yourself? Just thinking, I didn't like the way I handled it. I could have handled it better. Well... Well, do you then get that negative about yourself and kind of blame yourself? Yeah, if I wasn't around. Do you still do that? Yes. Sometimes, like I said, I don't think no one will miss me, you know. Sometimes I could be a body to others, you know. Because I get upset. Look, people generally don't want to be bothered with other people's problems. You know, because they have their own. You know, when something happens and they will say, I'll be there for you. When you call them on it, they are not there for you. Do you find that a lot? That's how I feel. Yes, yes. But do you ever call on people to help you? Mm, no, because I feel as though, as though they are not going to help me. So you sort of assume they wouldn't help you, so you wouldn't ask. It's just like they say. You can call me anytime, or, but I don't trust that. So you don't really trust that? Yes, yes. I have a problem with trust. I don't trust my manager. I don't trust people at work, you know. I just trust that, pe that people can handle it my way, you know. So you always have to be your way? Of course. I never thought I was like that. But maybe I think I am like that. Do you think it should always be your way? No, because my way is not always right. Because I'm thinking about my way of thinking is not always right because I'm going by my belief system or negative. The way I grew up, you know, other factors, you know, take place. So you kind of are aware that some of your thinking is is wrong. It's inappropriate. So you are aware of your schema, your belief system? Yes. 
it makes me feel more comfortable even though I know it's sometimes not right because other people have other ways of doing this you know so that is why I'm here I'm trying to work on that just so I'm not so up, 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 uptight okay well you can see uh, he was able to see the, the, the connection between his negative thoughts and recognize how the primary effect continually interfere with the present thinking and behavior. Uh, he, you can see, you noted that his anxiety uh, can be increased by publication about illness and that he then gets scared, adding that everything is negative in the world and that's frightening him. So I just wanted to try to reinforce your negative thinking to a positive thinking. Okay, reinforce those negative thinking about your world, yourself, your future. If, if there's something negative, I click, I cling to it. I can't read something negative without putting myself into the situation. So if you read something about cancer, then do you say, oh, I have it, same thing? Yes, yes, I do. Even though you don't have it? Yes, yes, even in, or even in my head, I wonder. Oh, I have a pain and I wonder and catastrophize. So you can see he's beginning to think more of his, his negative thinking, his use of cognitive distortion, uh, because when, she, in, when he indicates that he catastrophize. And then what do you do with that? Do you say to yourself, well, wait a minute? Well, I do challenge myself by reflect, reflecting on what I do that is positive in taking care of myself. Okay. So you can see, <coughs> so you recognize that you are cast as proving. You can see the, the he is increasingly aware of his anxiety, his relationship with the way he thinks, recognizing the need for him to to, to challenge his thinking. Uh, now is he has stopped reading those negative information and he has stopped watching anything negative on the TV. He has stopped listening to. He has now begun to listen to positive music and no longer rent scary movie. He now indicates that when his father died, those positive actions ceased. So what happened when your father died? What do you think he stopped? All that work that we that you were doing. <coughs> I was so upset at how the, the, the body just turned on you. Even though <coughs> some of it was his fault, a lot of it was his own fault. He did not take care of himself for years, so I have to remind myself about that. But when you are depressed, you don't sit back and think. No, you don't. So sometimes you have to sit back, close your, close your mind and think. This is not your fault. I'm going back to that. Okay, so you try to reflect on your, reflect those negative thinking about your relationship with your father <coughs> and turn into a positive uh, thinking, you know. Uh, <coughs> I know this, you see, uh, the subject at one time he was upset and he was overwhelmed with the burden, begin to feel rejected and awed by the father. Uh, Determine this arrangement was becoming detrimental to him, both physically and emotionally. So his father went to live with his other son. <coughs> Followed that, that, that move, he, he became responsible for that, feeling that he has failed, leading to his guilt. So you have to reinforce those negative guilt and think it in a positive way. Okay, so thank you guys very much, and uh, this is my interactive, interactive video, so uh, you can come for a different session. Thank you.